afternoon, good evening, good night, and what's up? Hey everybody, I'm Stacy, and welcome to my channel. To all of my existing subscribers, and to all my new subscribers, hello, sit down, get a drink, get a snack, and welcome to Sneakers and Handbags. Yes, the new name, we in a building. This is technically the first video I'm recording with the new name, but this isn't the first video you will see. We'll get into that later. So if you guys want to know what we're talking about this week, stay tuned. The face is fresh, the hair is washed. I got on a new outfit for the day. The mirror is out and you see the mic. You know what we're doing. Today, I am going to test out the new Fenty uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundations. Um, I picked up 290 and my actual my actual number, which is 300, uh, which I wear that in the original and in the um, hydrating foundations. So I'm gonna test it out today because I have some pictures to shoot. I have another video to shoot. So I was like, well, let me put some makeup on and why don't I do it in front of you guys? Do a little catch up. We're gonna talk about this foundation. Also, I picked up, let's see, a new, I, I got the uh, Anastasia Brow Wiz in Auburn because you all know my hair color is in. Can't really see it right now because it's kind of dark, but whatever. So let's zoom in and let's get to work. All right, okay, all right, let's go. All right, <laughs> here's the funny thing. I've only watched probably like a couple of videos on this foundation. I kind of didn't want to watch any videos, but it's been a while since I've worn powder foundation. So I'm gonna talk quickly. Um, it's been a while since I've um, worn powder foundation. The last powder foundation I've worn, I wore. <laughs> last powder foundation I wore was uh, Bare Minerals. And that was like the second, funny thing is that's the second ever foundation I actually used Bobbi Brown stick. Her, the original stick foundation from Bobbi Brown was the first one I ever used. Let me turn this this way there we go it's funny the mics in the shot whatever that was the first that was the second that was the first powder foundation i ever used the first actual foundation i used so um let's get these eyebrows and i actually like the bare minerals foundation oh it's been a minute so um i was just like well i want to try this uh, the pro filter foundation because I'm starting to get back into wearing makeup. Even though I'm sitting at home, I still want to look good and I still want to feel accomplished. And, you know, I I, I want to look like I did a little something. You know, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. That was all the way up. You guys didn't see that, but there we go. That was all the way up. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows first like I normally do. When I do my makeup, or when I did do makeup, let me say it that way because I don't, I haven't worn makeup. Well, actually yesterday was the first time I wore makeup in a while. I think since the last makeup video when I was wearing, when I put on the Rare Beauty makeup, that was like the first time I wore makeup in a good while. And I didn't hate it. I just wished the color matched, but that's only because Rare Beauty came out when I had some, when I really had some color on my face. I was getting out um, to move around a lot. My brows need to, I need to do some of my brows. I'm just going to have to do them myself because I am not, I'm, I still don't know about going outside. Okay. I still don't know. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and try this foundation out because I wanted to see if this would be a foundation that I could like wear every day instead of doing a liquid foundation. Cause right now I am still wearing, um, what's the foundation I'm wearing? Oh, um, uh, NARS. I'm wearing my NARS foundation, which I still have. Funny thing is yesterday, as of yesterday, I just, I did a huge declutter of my makeup and I got rid of pretty much all of my makeup. And it was a shock for me when I did it. I needed to do it. I'm not going to sit back and say, oh my God, I didn't need to do that. Yeah, I did. I needed to do it. It was absolutely necessary that I needed to get that done. But um, let's do concealer. We're going to do fit me. 
concealer and um, I needed to get it done because one, when I moved, I was supposed to do it before the move and I did not do it. That was my own fault. And then two, I just really just, I, I was past due on getting rid of a lot of that makeup in there. So it was time for me to do that. I think I probably put a picture up on the screen of what all I got rid of. Use my sponge and let's. I'm going to do all my liquid products first to get that out the way so I don't have. So I'm not putting liquid over powder. So do all of that. Get that all out the way first. Why is my nose running? Anyway. So, anyhow, like I said, I did a full declutter. I normally do a declutter right before the New Year's, like on New Year's Eve or the 30th, I normally do a declutter. But this year, I had, I was so busy working on the website, I did not do it when I wanted to do it. So, I just went ahead and just kind of opted out and waited until yesterday and, um, while watching Discovery Plus and I was watching uh, my 600 pound life, I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this done. Um, the list of all the makeup that I'm using, I'm going to have listed below. I'm not going to tell everything because it's, you know, it's going to take forever. Oh, I'm wearing this. Oh, I'm wearing that. Or I'll, actually, I may have it on the bottom of the screen. That's what I probably do. Just do that instead of doing all this extra talking why is my nose running anyway so I think I did everything liquid so let's get on to the star of the show 290 and 300 reason why I picked these two is because funny thing is I can go between these two when I when I originally got color matched when the first the original um, foundation came out I was color matched to both of these but I went with 300 because 300 was the closest to me to my color so I just went on and went with 300 so I think I'm gonna go with 300 and then another day I'll do 290 and I'll show a comparison on the screen so you guys can see what looks better so here's the newest dilemma should I use a sponge? This is the Sonia Kasich sponge, which this is, I just wetted things gigantic or a dense brush. I've been kind of going back and forth in my head, which way I'm going to go. So what I'm going to do is do one side of my face with the sponge and do the other side with the brush and see which way looks best. So we're going to start my left side with the sponge and I'm going to dip it into 300, which I've never used a sponge for um for um makeup application well not makeup application <laughs> duh I just did that no um I've never used a sponge for foundation application so this is gonna be pretty different for me so hopefully this doesn't turn out pretty bad so here we go I'm gonna put this on here I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it on camera. So what I'm going to do is make sure I take a picture so you guys can see the difference between the two sides. And you guys can tell me which side you think is the best. But right now on camera, just looking at the br the, uh, Looking at the sponge application, it looks pretty good so far. Hmm, okay. Like I said, I've never done a sponge application for foundation, so this is going to be a different thing for me. Okay, so we got that all on, all done. Now let's go with the dense brush. This is the Morphe E6. I'm gonna get in there. So 
So the couple of videos that I watched, um, I watched Jackie Ina, her video, and she used a dense brush. And then I watched Andrea Renee, and she used that actual sponge. She used the um, Sonia Kasich sponge. And I, like, I've looked at the Sonia Kasich sponges, and I never really thought about the sponge. Even though I could have just used my Eurels Technique sponge. But I was like, well, that sponge looks pretty big. Let me try it that way. So, that's what I did. It would help to do that. <laughs> I just realized as I'm filming, I didn't have the light on in my mirror, but that's okay. You could still, I could still see. That was okay. <laughs> that's too funny. You could tell it's been a minute since I've done a makeup video, but you know what? I'm back. It's 2021. <laughs> we go get it together. We're going to get it together. So, okay. So application is done probably i may end up sending back to 90 because 300 actually looks really good but i'm still gonna try 290 i might end up keeping it i don't know i might end up keeping it anyway but this is my face right now with both on i'm gonna take a pizza let's take a pizza well first what's that oh let's take our pizza so you can see how it looks. Actually, let's get in close. Okay. And I will put the picture up on the screen over here so you guys can see how it looks. I take great pictures some days. <laughs> that was crazy. Anyway, I kind of think I like the sponge application. But I do like the brush application a little bit more because to me, my face looks more covered with the brush. So let me do this. I'm going to me run. Let me jump back in here real quick. And I want to really get up in here. Really get up in here. It's funny when I did uh, my um, makeup purge yesterday. The first thing I said, I was talking to my sisters on the phone. And I was like, now I want to go buy more makeup. <laughs> so it's pretty funny that I started having that moment like I want more makeup now because I'm you know I didn't got rid of all my makeup but no nope, I'm not I don't really need all that makeup so all right now all of the make the uh, foundations on I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna finish my face and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the finished product and here's my complete face, everything all done. I'm going to take another picture, picture so you guys can see how it looks full, my full face. Get in a little closer. So, there we go. Right now, just, you know, just having it on for the past few minutes. Um, it feels really good. It feels like you don't, it, it's like a powder foundation. I mean, if you've used powder foundation before, you know, powder foundations are pretty light to the skin. It's not a whole lot going on. It's not a whole lot to it. Um, I will say I am going to be wearing this all day. Cause like I said, I am going to shoot another video. I'm going to take some pictures, things like that, you know, work on the website things, you know, my typical things that I've been doing since I've been home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back right now. It is 9.54 in Dimension. It is right now 9.54 a.m. as you guys can see. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this. I'm going to leave it on all day. Get some stuff done around here. And I'll come back in a few hours. Uh, we'll see. I'll be back and then I'll tell you all how I truly feel about this foundation in a few hours. Okay, I'm back. It is, let's see, what time is it? It is 4.21 p.m. Let's see if you can get that in there. Yep, 4.21 p.m. A uh, little over six hours that I've had this on. I've shot a video. I ran up and down the steps a lot to pull stuff for said video. I didn't get to shoot pictures today. So that means I'm going to shoot pictures tomorrow. No big deal. No sweat. But, 
okay, how do I feel about this foundation? I really like it. I, I'm loving this foundation. I did sweat a little, but I wasn't, because from running up and down the steps, so it wasn't a lot. So it was not like annoying. I would say that. Um, I believe it's supposedly sweat proof. I think, um, I think that's what it says on, um, Sephora and on the website. I can't remember, um, real quick. And where is it? I was about to say, I know I brought it back down. I kind of took it upstairs. Something I didn't show you guys when I first, um, showed you guys the, um, foundation, um, in the back, there's another little mirror and a little puff I actually did use the little puff, little, um, sponge applicator. I did use that a little because, um, I had to blow my nose earlier. So I did do a little touch up. Uh, let's see. There's a little oil on my nose from the day, but it's not a lot of oil. My fate, um, I do get, I do have an oily T-zone, but it's not like annoyingly oily or anything like that. So it, I, I can, I can deal with it. I'm actually in my robe right now cause I'm cold. <laughs> the temperatures drop, like I said, it's after four o'clock and it's getting dark. So that is why you see me in light. So if you look this way, the sun has moved that way and it's going now. So yeah, that's it. Um, that is all, um, for this review. I'm going to put pictures at the end of me in this 300 and in 290 also so you guys can see if there's a difference or not. I don't think there's going to be a huge difference. I'm going to wear 290 tomorrow while I shoot pictures and do other things around the house. I'm going to do that so I at least have that going and then you guys can see pictures and you guys can see if there is a difference, if it isn't a difference, if you like 290 better or if you like 300 better, talk to me below and let me know which one you do like better on me. And that is it. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, it is time for me to order food and eat because I'm hungry. Because if I don't eat, somebody's going to catch a slapping. And I need to go watch um, Mysteries at the Museum on Disney Plus from the History Channel because that's my show. I'm getting ready to nerd out. So if you guys have any questions, talk to me below. I will put links to the Fenty Foundation below from Sephora and I will link the uh, Fenty Beauty website also. So like I said, any questions, talk to me below. Other than that, you saw my um, social media at the beginning. My website is also below and that is it. I'm gonna get out of here. Love, peace, hair products, tech, beauty, and all that lifestyle stuff. <laughs> See you later. Bye.